Alright guys, so in the previous video we have spoken how to hook up a Super Console X on an Ultimate Ad Games Legend Arcade Machine. But there is a very easy plug and play way. With the Super Console X Tech Plug and Play Solution. So when it comes to modding, at games have created a cabinet, I think this is the most easy way you can play plug and play, stream and do many great things with this machine. Comes built in with 350 arcade classics and some Sega games, you name it, it's a quite interesting story. I did a full review about it, so consider subscribing to that one. First of all, welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector, it's awesome that you're tuning in. In this video, I just want to see a quick tutorial guide how you need to plug and play your Super Console X inside this machine very easily and unlock a completely new way to play. So with this Ad Games machine we're going to get the solution for plugging an HDMI device, including two USB ports, one for basically connecting it for the juice and accommodation for the controls. So we plugged in the Super Console X and the same goes for the Pro. It works like a charm, but the only thing I didn't like was like this device bungling beside your cabinet. So I came across the Super Console X, did a full review about this device. And it was more like, hey, this can be a very easy plug and play solution. So let's check it out and let's see if this is going to be working. Because if you're going to do this, this is just super convenient. A fun fact is, we're only going to need two things. We're going to use the Super Console X, one of these ports for connecting the controller and giving it some use, and this special cable that we're going to get with the Legend Arcade. Plug in the Super Console X stick. Next up, plug in the cable. If it doesn't work, use the left port. Okay, turn it around the wicket. Plug in the Y port over here. And that's the only thing that we're going to need. And don't use the blue one. It's highly possible the controller can't get recognized by the Android or Amy ALEC. Next up, power it on. Alright, so next up, the LED go blue, so that means it's powered on. And the next thing that we need to wait for is the Ad Games Ultimate Legend arcade machine to boot up. Alright, so when the system is powered on, the next thing we need to do, of course, go to the settings mode. The reason why I would go to the settings mode, we need to activate our arcade stick like more like a USB device. Let's go to the OTG mode. Press it, and when done, it will give you the mode that is powered on and ready to go. Then press the button to switch to HD mode port number one. And what you can see is that the Amy Alec has been booted up and we are ready to set up the controls. And if you're having some problems, double check the OTG mode that is set to USB connected, the legend unit cannot be used. Just want to point it out quickly. Alright, so let's go back to the HDMI 2 or 1. Alright, so you can see that it's connected now. What we need to do is configure the controls. We're just going to use the D-pad as my main. We can configure the spinners and the trackball so far, I know. We're only having the AB, XY, and L1 and R1, only having a six button layout. So there are some limitations with some games. If you replace it with the ultimate arcade stick A button layout, of course you can use A buttons. So it depends what kind of AMO ALEC software pack or you're going to build yourself. I recommend using the hotkey with this version I'm having here. This is 3.9 and the thing is more like if I don't configure the hotkey, I'm going to do it like this in the video, I have some problems getting back into the game menu. So that is a little bit of a problem and that is something you need to take consideration. But if you want to play together with your buddy with player 2, you can see nothing works. So what you need to do is press the start button and go to the control configuration because you need to set up the second controller. So this is what we're going to do. Basically it's the same story. Go to control settings. The play one, choose A. Okay, take consideration. First we're going to convert it. Yeah, you're going to ask me if you want to be sure. Yes, it says two gamepads detected. All right, next up, hold the button on play two 
and we're going to do the same story all over again. Select start is a problem, and there's another problem that we only have in, in player two. The add games button can't use for the select button. You can use it for configuring, like using it for a hotkey. I did notice it work with player one, but it's kind of weird in my opinion. So this is a big problem if you will need a second select button for an arcade game, but that's a minor problem or maybe a big one. The next thing that we need to do is configure the controllers for player one, player two. Otherwise it's going to be messed up in the games. So you can see we're having hashtag zero and hashtag one that indicates player one and player two or player left or player right. Okay, so ready to go, everything's set up. So let's try some games. But if you're going to configure the left joy to the d-pad it's highly possible some games for the n64 and other system will not work just want to point it out right let's go First of all, this game can be played because the original game has a support for analog and d-pad control. Another thing is I need to remap the buttons in the game itself because we're missing out the shoulder buttons. So it's not a big of a deal but more like the minor things you need to tweak because we're missing two buttons. Okay, so I just played and tested a couple of games and the Super Console like Stick is a pretty damn awesome way to play. Need a quick point out that not every game will have a 100% perfect support. So check out the full review if you want to have more information regarding the Super Console X product. And yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of the solution. I think it's pretty genius. You only need to have a USB HDMI stick and we're going to get a cable. Just one. No cable nightmare, just almost plug and play. So I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the bell, become one of the Wicked family. And I will see you in the next video.